Hi guys, my name is Serena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a late wrap up, but since I've read a lot in the month of April, I really do want to make this wrap up so in June when I'll talk about my winter and spring wrap up, I'm not talking about 20 books, you know? So today I'm going to talk about all the books that I read in April for the Owl's Magical Readathon. And guys, I think this is my best reading month ever because out of 12 prompts I read 10 of them and I'm so happy about that and the books that I did not read are Eleanor and Park and Little Fires Everywhere. These two books were for the prompts Muggle Studies to read a contemporary and Herbology to read a book with a plant on the cover. So I did not read those two and I am sad about that because I really wanted to read them, especially Little Fires Everywhere and Eleanor and Park. I've owned this book since forever, but oh well. I'm still so happy that I managed to complete other 10 prompts. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna read all the prompts and tell you about each of the books that I've read. So the first prompt was Ancient Runes and I was supposed to read a retelling. So what I read is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed Cinder and when I began this book I was immediately immersed into the story and I gave this book four and a half stars. I took off half a star because I have to say that I felt that there was insta-love in this book, honestly. The new relationship in this book felt so insta-lovey. So that's the reason why I didn't give it five stars. But overall, I really enjoyed seeing Cinder and um, her story intertwining with the story of Scarlet. So, I am so excited to continue on with this series. I'm really enjoying this so far. Me and series sometimes don't go along because I feel like the first book can be amazing, but as the series progresses, it gets worse. But the second book was great in this one. So yeah, I really enjoyed the characters, the plot, everything, honestly. I. The only bad thing that I have to say about this book is the insta-love that I felt was there. And I really, really enjoyed meeting Thorn. I think he's hilarious. I love his character. I also have to mention that I have uploaded a vlog the other day. So if you want to, you can go see my um, live reactions, you know, uh, while reading these books. The next prompt was Arithmancy, and this prompt was to read a book by more than one author and what I did I read Summer Days and Summer Nights by a bunch of authors I think it was edited by Stephanie Perkins and it was cute um, usually I'm not a big fan of anthologies I have read My True Love Gave to Me which is the other book but with more wintry stories my favorite one was Stephanie Perkins story as it was in my true love gave to me so I really love that story it was a continuation of uh, the other one and yeah the other stories some of them were really weird and others were cute a lot of them forgettable honestly <laughs> so I give it three stars the next prompt is astronomy and basically we had to read a book with star in the cover and for this one I didn't read the entire book because I have to finish the series first and what I did, I read five short stories of Stars Above. I said in my TBR that I was going to read six, but I didn't read the six because it was a, st a short story about Cress. And honestly, I want to read that before reading Cress, and I'm not going to read it anytime soon. So um, I only read f five short stories, but I've completed this prompt. I, I said that I was not going to read the entire book because first I have to read Crest and Winter. The next prompt is Care of Magical Creatures and for this one I read a book with an animal, a land animal um, on the cover and I know this book is a stretch because it's not a real animal, it's fantastical and uh, what I read is the screenplay of The Crimes of Grindelwald and I see um, you know, creatures, um, fantastical beasts on the cover, so I counted that as good. But uh, yeah, I said that I really wanted this book in my wish list, 
but I, I changed my mind so I read it on ebook and um, I gave it I think three stars it's a, a lower rating um, in comparison to the first one but yeah you all know what I feel about the, this movie maybe because I reviewed it but uh, yeah I think it, it's it was so info don't be and all that but it, it was still enjoyable the next book that I read that I completed was charms and I basically read an auto book and this book is a clash of kings I read it for the a song of ice and fire um, read-along and yeah five stars I really really enjoy this series um, the TV show well um, I still have to upload my um, reactions, my thoughts to the last three episodes of the eighth season, but um, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about that. You'll, you'll see them in my next video. But um, as for this book, I have to say that I really enjoyed it. I love the descriptions of the war. It's so different from the show. You see every scene from the perspective of, of Tyrion, of Sansa, in... in every detail and I really really love that. I'm currently reading the third book and I really want to complete this series and I really wish that George R. R. Martin released the fifth book already because we need it. The next book was Defense Against the Dark Arts and for this one we had to read a book which titled starts with an R and I read Room by Emma Donahue and I really enjoyed this book especially the first three quarters. The three quarters through Room, I got bored of the narration, I have to say, and I gave this 3.5 stars, more towards four than three stars, but it is narrated by a five-year-old kid, and sometimes this kid made me so frustrated, but we have to understand that he's only a kid, so okay. And I felt so much anxiety at one point when that, Thing happened so um, I really enjoyed this book but as I said towards the end I start losing interest I don't know why but um, it's a good book the next book that I needed to read was for divination and this is a book set in the future and I read The Martian by Andy Weir and I really enjoyed this book too it is very sciencey it has a lot of physics and other sciences that I don't understand at all but thank goodness this is also a very funny book. Mark Watney is very funny and thank goodness because if it was only sciencey and you know survival mode type of book, I would have gotten um, bored. I do feel that I have to reread this book in the future because I um, feel like they, there are parts that I didn't really understand. So this is definitely going to be a reread in the future because I need to reread and understand more of what's going on of what Mark Watney did. So yeah, I gave this one four stars. The next book that I read was for History of Magic and I needed to read a book set at least 10 years ago and I read The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp and this book was published in 2008 so it counts. I have to say though that I didn't love this book. I honestly gave it 2.5 stars because I hated the characters uh, so much. Sutter drank too much, drinking and driving, I hate it. Um, he also... Uh, he was very, he, he judged a lot of the girls' uh, appearances. I guess it's realistic because we all, you know, judge. Uh, we all, all think things about people. We all make up our minds about people. He just seemed very superficial and selfish, especially at the beginning. But I think it's a typical, you know, teenage boy. Thing. I don't know. The way it was written, it was very casual. Um, there were sentences like, um, and then I was like, and you know, and she was like, and then he was like. It was very casual. It, it wasn't very, you know, hard to read. Some things were predictable. I was predicting um, something that happened towards the end. But I really enjoyed the fact that there wasn't really a happy ending. So um, this made um, the rating go up a half a star because I was planning on giving it two stars. But I gave it two and a half stars at the end. A lot of things were cringy. 
like them talking in that uh, mafia, Italian mafia <laughs> lingo or when um, Amy basically fat shamed her friend uh, I don't know, there were some things that I didn't like but it was very realistic, I have to say. It will not stick with me. This book will definitely not stick with me. So I give it two and a half stars. I'm, I'm planning on watching the movie and see how it's different. But yeah. The next book that I read was a sequel. This was for potions. And I read The Sea of Monsters. And it was cute. It was quick. It was 270 pages basically. And I gave it four stars because I'm aware that it's a cute book for middle graders. I feel like I should have read this book back in middle school and I am gonna complete this series. I do own the first five books. I read the first two so I have to complete you know the other three but yeah nothing special for me because I'm I think I'm too old for this but it was great it was cute loved it four stars you know what I mean I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> Lastly, the last book that I read was for Transfiguration and I needed to read a book with sprayed edges or a red cover. I went for a red cover because I do not own books with sprayed edges. So I read Homegoing by Yaja Asi and I think this was my favorite book next to Scarlet of the whole reading month, you know? Uh, I gave this five stars. I said at the beginning of the year that I really want to read more diversely and this is a book about two sisters. One, one becomes a slave and the other one becomes a wife of a slave owner. And we follow the two generations from the 1700s until I wanna say the 90s maybe? 2000s, I don't know. The near present, but I really enjoyed this book. Every story was very interesting um and i just kept imagining like a mini series like every episode a different story so i, I wish they made like a mi like a series and um every episode is about the story of each um each family member in this generation so yeah guys those are the 10 books that i've read and how was your Owl's Magical Readathon, did you complete all the prompts? I almost did, and I'm so happy about my reading month. It was my best reading month yet. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!